Hello, good evening, it's Adil Fazal, market analyst here at CFDs.com. Be sure to visit www.cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly explore the products and services available. You can certainly take advantage of the 25% cash bonus offer and for all new trading accounts. If you want that applied, send me an email, I'll get that organized for you. Okay. Uh, alternatively, the uh, educational uh, services that are available, uh, please visit www.cfds.education to learn more. Okay, uh, how has the US market reacted to Chinese data? Very negatively. Okay, that's probably the summation. Uh, very negatively. Uh, the gap higher is closed, and that should not have occurred from a fundamental perspective, but it occurred on a technical perspective, and how do we interpret that? Okay, let's try and um, uh, do an autopsy on the US market. So let's start off with the Wiltshire, and go start off on the daily chart of the Wiltshire. You've had that bottoming tail, which certainly are expected to hold. The 60-minute chart of the Wiltshire, you continue to make lower lows and lower highs. But having said that, you are seeing signs of strength in the 60. Also on the 10-minute chart, you have this inverted head and shoulders. It has negated the um, the actual neckline. So for now, you are looking at signs of a higher low. That's basically what we would be expecting on the Wiltshire. And that's exactly what is occurring. Now, the uh, short on the, uh, the VIX itself, if you look at the actual VIX in the daily chart, you're obviously into resistance. Uh, you've hit that uh, horizontal zone at 18.4. You've held on the daily chart. Now you're into gap fill resistance. So again, uh, indications that the VIX is obviously topping out, and you are looking at us dropping the VIX and a rally in Europe, U.S. equities. Okay. Uh, now going over to the uh, the actual S&P 500. Now uh, you on the 10-minute chart. You have an inverted head and shoulders formation. You've closed the gap, and you are looking to potentially move higher, and you're retesting the neckline. Given the fact that China was up by 3% overnight, the bias remains bullish. And we are looking for further uh, higher prices. Now, I did expect that gap to close today at 16.22 based on Chinese data. And it certainly hasn't transpired. So not exactly a bullish sign. But for now, we have to respect that. We remain in this uh, down sloping uh, channel. Uh, I am expecting the markets to break out of this channel and certainly start to trade bullish. That's my interpretation thus far. The daily chart, like I said, has a bottoming tail on the S&P and therefore is holding uh, at present. And therefore, that should be interpreted as being bullish from my perspective. Okay, so the uh, the actual Russell itself now, uh, the Russell going to a daily chart of the Russell itself. Let's just bring this up. Bear with me. Okay, so the Russell itself, uh, you can see the daily chart. The bottoming tail certainly has held. Okay, yes, you have had a bearish engulfing candle thus far, but given the fact that you have Chinese data, it certainly should uh, transpire in the opposite direction. Same type of pattern is being uh, obviously uh, it certainly occurs from my perspective here as well. You have this inverted head and shoulders formation. You're looking for a higher low and looking to break higher. That's my interpretation thus far. The 10 minute chart, the Russell itself, like I said, has put in a higher low, has not tested the previous lows and is, is making a higher low. And that certainly is a bullish sign. You have an unfilled gap above that needs to close. And I am expecting that to be uh, targeted and certainly to uh, attempt to close. So Russell and the S&P certainly indicating a move higher. The trial transportation weekly, your previous resistance equals support on the weekly chart. So therefore, uh, you are looking at that as a potential support zone. The daily chart itself has put in two dojis and looking at third doji for now. The 60 minute chart has put a potential uh, mega double bottom, no lower low. That's the important thing, has not made a new lower low. If it, if it can consolidate and hold this, you are looking at potential base and a rally higher. Okay, on the Dow transports. Looking at the Dow Jones itself. Uh, with me. Okay, so the Dow Jones itself, daily chart, it also weekly chart is into that 200 MA. Okay, horizontal support. Daily chart is obviously into horizontal support. The 60 minute chart at present, uh, you can see, is uh, obviously holding support. Has not made a lower low. So, again, this is a bullish sign, and that's how we should interpret it as such. Okay, so. Very, very important. Okay. Okay, now bear with me. Okay, uh, basically, you got distracted there. Okay, so basically, we are looking at a. Uh, okay, so looking at the uh, Dow Jones. Okay, you are looking at a lower lows, lower highs. Uh, so, certainly innocent until proven guilty. Having said that, though, on the 10 minute chart, you have an inverted head and shoulders formation. 
and looking for a projection higher. The daily chart is into support, the weekly chart is into support, and therefore you are looking for, especially with regards to 200 MA, and you are looking for a move higher on the back of uh, obviously Shanghai being up by 3%, and then Chinese data not being as bad as everybody expected. Okay, uh, now looking at the Russell and the S&P, this is going to be crucial. Okay, so the Russell will hold the key. Now the weekly chart, the Russell certainly uh, an argument here for a potential, uh, obviously, uh, move higher. Uh, potential support although it is weak now the russell itself uh, is the russell 2000 if i just bring up the russell 3000 as well that's going to be important now bear with me okay so the daily chart the russell 3000 obviously you can see is certainly into support the weekly chart you have horizontal support so therefore uh, based on the russell based on the dow based on the uh, potential of which i'll bring up the nasdaq as well uh, and also the wilshire you are looking at potential support okay so going back to the Russell 2000, also 3000 is the same, more or less similar. Okay, you've had a potential bottoming tail here, although today's uh, price action certainly is weak. And one would argue that you are into a potentially oversold territory with the RSA dipping below as well. Okay, but you do need further evidence of a potential rally. Now the, um, the actual uh, strength comes from the 60 minute chart with this inverted head and shoulders formation based on the fundamental uh, backdrop of a stronger China. Uh, obviously, the concerns from China not being as bad as everybody expected. The 10 minute chart of the Eurost or the Russell itself uh, still has yet to test yesterday's or pr the previous day's lows and uh, is certainly putting in a higher low. So, therefore, from my perspective, it would certainly be interpreted as being bullish and therefore an inverted head and shoulders should ensue with the potential of the gap being closed above. Okay, especially given the fact that the oil prices certainly are stabilizing. If I bring up a chart of oil. And also copper as well. Look at the price of copper. It's made a double bottom. It's putting in a higher low. Okay. So again, same type of uh, scenario with regards to the equity market. Okay. Oil prices as well making a base has not made a new low, even with the Iranian sanctions, the IMF concerns, and you are you do have the put of um, Mr. Carney, who was very dovish today. So one central bank certainly uh, uh, overtly uh, atten attempting to be dovish in order to keep the market afloat. Okay. So certainly an argument there for a potential thrust and a move higher from my perspective. S&P 500, you still have the bottoming tail that's for holding from yesterday. Given the fact that you have Chinese data, etc., etc., you are looking for a potential thrust higher. The 60-minute chart certainly is into the zone of uh, a bearish uh, lower lows and lower highs, but it has not made a lower low or tested yesterday's low. So it's certainly bullish from my perspective. 10-minute chart is uh, holding the gap fill level, is holding the uh, neckline of the inverted head and shoulders formation and therefore looking to potentially thrust higher. Like I said, uh, given the fact that you have Chinese data being stronger than expected, given the fact that uh, uh, you have the Shanghai up by 3%, oil prices holding, obviously holding a base. Mr. Bernanke's comments with regards to a dollar topping out as well. You can see a dollar itself certainly thrusting uh, lower. Uh, in the daily chart, we'll, we'll certainly see that uh, it certainly is showing shine of weakness and you have uh, the ability or probability of it testing previous resistance, okay, equals support. So that's going to be cr crucial as well going forward on the uh, the actual dollar index itself, okay. Right, so I think that's a good summation of uh, the US markets. Again, the Shanghai and the Nikkei certainly holding support and therefore I am expecting a move in the US markets higher uh, and a potential thrust, a bullish thrust and a bullish argument uh, to uh, on the upside, especially with regards to the... Uh, the actual uh, price action, the USD JPY as well, given the fact that it's certainly holding its support on the daily chart, and the yen is certainly coming into resistance as well. If I bring up the chart, the yen, uh, let's bring up the yen chart as well to show you. DJ yen, here we go. Okay, so certainly uh, indicating uh, resistance. Okay, on the yen, so you have this uh, argument here for a potential HNS formation. So your left shoulder obviously is in. You've put in the head. You're just consolidating here and potential uh, sell-off, and therefore that will be bullish for global equities from my perspective. Okay, you do have the unfilled gap to fill below, certainly keep an eye out for that as well. So provided oil prices remain strong and hold that base at 28.6, provided the dollar index certainly remains weak, given the fact that Mr. Ben, ben Bernanke has triggered the weakness, uh, especially given that last Friday's economic data and Mr. Hilson was stating that, uh, that the Fed will not raise rates in January, you are looking at a support being held, given that you have higher lows in US markets and inverted head and shoulders formation on several uh, indices. So uh, I'll call it, I think that's a market wrap because my son is coming over and asking me to play cricket. And uh, so uh, as a summation, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. 
and certainly uh, take advantage of the cash bonus offer. Goodbye.